Hi guys. So the video of me yelling for credence downtown, missing him, loving him, don't know where he's at, is like my most popular video. And I only have a few comments and a lot of them are bad. <laughs> One person wrote cringe. If uh, cringe it is for missing, loving, desperately seeking, wanting to be, know my son, then cringe it is. I already am crazy for credence. Let's call me crazy and cringy, huh? <laughs> Poor credence. <laughs> He's never going to come to me because not only does he not know what to believe, but he never got to uh, be okay to be around me, get to know me, get to like me. So I don't know. I don't know if my son's going to like me if he were to come around. And I'm not going to change. I'll change to be better and do better, but not change because of abuse and alienation. I already have changed and adjusted, and I uh, hate it. I miss my son. My husband never got to be a bonus dad to him, and we have other kids that don't know him. And my husband has kids in a previous marriage, so there's just a big blended family. No reason to be kept apart. No reason to uh, not even have a little bit to do with each other. It just sucks. It just sucks. Reality hits in that uh, not only that you weren't coming back, but you're just, you're not coming back. That's a lot. To handle is a lot to deal with. It still is. So I will continue to do what makes me feel good and help the cause. Protesting makes me feel good. Protesting makes me happy. Liberating. Maybe I could heal one day <laughs> because of protesting. That's another thing. A lot of people tell me I'm too angry all the time or I shouldn't be the way I am because of the way I feel. I am so sick and tired of everybody trying to tell me how I should feel. Especially not to be mad. There's nothing wrong with owning up to my emotion. Maybe if everybody stopped telling me to stop being mad, I'll stop being mad. <laughs> Just stop telling me what to do. Stop telling me how to be, how to feel. You know? I do me and you do you.